Hi Kickstarters, my name is Frank Marino and I want to introduce you to Spike Art Creations. Spike Art is basically comprised of ferrofluid. fluid. Ferro fluid was invented in the 60s by NASA to move fluids at a zero gravity. When exposed to a magnetic field, it changes to unbelievable three-dimensional spikes. Ferrofluid exhibits and photographs can be seen in the most prestigious museums around the world, created by famous artists. What really makes this fascinating is that before these famous artists started working with ferrofluids, they were virtually unknown. Because of its outrageous cost from $200 to $1,000 per liter, ferrofluid has been strictly limited to the select few. We have been working with engineers and chemists over the years, and I am proud to say that we have developed our own proprietary brand of ferrofluid that is not only affordable to everyone, but it also can be colored. You know, there's so many applications uh, with the ferrofluid and spike art, I really don't know where to begin. Hey, Lynn, can you tell us what was the first project you did using ferrofluid? The first one was the watermelon. The watermelon up there. The and what exactly did you do with that? Well, I got this idea. I had this watermelon. I took everything outside. I carved the watermelon and I placed it. So you carved up all the inside of the watermelon. The inside, cut it out, carved it inside. Okay. And then I placed a magnet inside and put the ferrofluid on the top. Okay, so then you drip the ferrofluid on the inside and you got it to spike up like that. Yeah, I got that. That looks pretty interesting. And, yes. And then how about what's the bottom picture? Well, I decided to add some colors to it, some ferro colors. So I added a red and green and it kind of oozed down. So it was just trying to see what else I can get out of it. And about in all the shots I've taken, these were the two I liked the most after I... I say. Well, they are very creative and you definitely think outside the box. And uh, I just got a, a question for you first. Uh, do, do you have a name for that? Yeah, I named them Ferro Melon. The Ferro Melon, huh? Eh? Yeah. And just one other question, Lynn. I want to know, did you get to eat the melon? Yes, it was oh, you good. Did. Yeah. It was good? It was good. Well, that's great, okay? <laughs> I'd like to show you another project with Spike Art that Linda is working on that I really happen to like. Well, the one you show us what you have here. Okay, I have this uh, old lamp that I found that was about six feet tall, and I decided to cut it down, hand the sh um, put all the chandeliers around it. And originally, I was thinking of putting a ferro dome on the top, um, but I decided to use something else. I'm going to put this on my base first. And um, what I decided to do actually was I found this Halloween mask. I'm just going to put it on top like this. And I was thinking of different ways with light. So I have a little light that I put around here in the back. So the light would light up the crystal. Yes. And you're, gonna, you're playing with that. Yes. And then where is the ferrofluid going to be? Well, what I really found fascinating is while playing with the ferrofluid, I noticed when you shine lights on it, I was really so fascinated. So that's the ferrofluid that you're shining on now. Yes. And when you shine the laser, it has all these magnificent... Uh, uh, different uh, picking up all the colors, different and, colors. Yeah. So actually, what you're going to do, you're going to put a, uh, you're going to put magnets in the eye, and yes. it's going to basically look like that. Yes. And then you're going to still use a laser. Yes, I'm going to get a stand and, and shine two lasers, so it goes on the ferro fluid sticking out by the eyes. That's that'll be unique. Yeah. So now he'll be, he'll have ferro fluid eyes with a laser in him. Yes. Lynn, question again. What are you going to call this guy? Um, Ferro Vision. Ferro Vision. Yes. Another creation from Linda using spike art creations. Another type of spike art is where you take existing graphic art or a photo, you place it on the acrylic table, and you put an acrylic sheet on top. Now I'm putting a metal bolt, or you could use anything metallic that you have, and you put the ferro fluid on top of it. You put it on until it spikes up the way you want it. And uh, now you could add on various things. Like here I'm putting a diamond on it just to give it some additional look. Along with some pearls for three-dimensional. Once I'm done with it, I take off the clamps. And what you can see is I took a photograph of it. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. You can see the three-dimensional look. It's extremely unique art. And you could do that with virtually any type of photograph uh, 
that you have as on the base. I'm photographing ferrofluid, fluid. You could use various colors, lighting and gels to get like a gold color, a red color, a blue color, a color of your choice. Kickstarters, as you can see, there are many applications that spike art could be used for. Whether you want to create three-dimensional art, experiment with ferrofluid in motion with various sculptured metal pieces, or perhaps you want to add ferrofluid to an existing art project that you have already done. Kickstarters, all the parts you see here were manufactured by hand on a one-by-one -one basis. We need your help and support in taking spike art to the next level, where we can manufacture ferrofluid in large quantities to make it available to all the people and we can also mass produce all the parts you're looking at. Please help us to support this project as you will discover that Spike Art Creations is only limited to your imagination.